Hi, everybody. How are you? Good to see you. All right, I hear this isn't working, so I actually need to be dramatic with it so they know when to flip it. So if we could flip to the first one, please. <laughs> so first of all, congratulations to everybody here. Uh, such an honor to be back in town. I'm usually on the road, and when Hugh called and said, would I come and, and spend some time with you this evening? I was like, there is nothing that I'd rather do. So thank you so much. And I said, but the caveat is this. I said, you want me to talk about innovation, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't come at it from the perspective that I think the true innovation around the globe is actually happening. And that is from the eyes of women. <laughs> Woo! Now for all the guys that are out there in the audience, Please know that while I'm the founder and CEO of Empowering a Billion Women by 2020, we recognize that we're only going to reach our fullest potential if we do it with all the guys. So thank you to all of you as well. So to tell you a little bit about what we do at Empowering a Billion Women by 2020, we provide tools, technology, and resources to, in fact, go after the big, hairy, audacious goal of empowering a billion women by 2020. Specifically, we connect women entrepreneurs to the funding resources that they need to start, grow, and scale their ventures. Right now, we do that in an automated fashion. I'm going to share with you what's coming up soon because it's one of the most exciting innovations that I'm excited to see coming out here in Austin. So let's go to the first. Oh, I think it's working. All right, so why women? Why are we talking about this? Well, women are controlling 80% of the spend here in the United States and we control 70% of the global wallet spend around the world. However, and you heard some of the VCs talking about it, we receive less than 4% of venture capital and we sit on less than 14% of the boards. Why does this matter? Because if any of you are like me when I started my first venture and I was told I don't look like, act like, sound like, or talk like, any of the CEOs that the investors are used to funding and I'll never get funded, what happens when you have people who are spending money and they're not able to get what it is that they want? They turn around and start innovating. If you want to see where innovation is happening, watch what the women are doing around the globe. Watch what they're doing in the garages. Get involved with the women's organization. Ask what they're doing from an innovative perspective. And I will tell you from traveling around the globe, some of the most amazing innovations that I've seen in health, in computer science, in financial technology, is coming from the women's space. So why? Well, one of the things, again, and for all the investors in the room that's really exciting about this too, is that women are making it happen despite those statistics about access to financing. But what happens when women are given the opportunity to actually get funded in their ventures, what do they do? they turn around and they deliver a 35% higher ROI. When they're venture backed, they deliver, they tend to deliver a 12% higher revenue. And one of the things that literally motivates me every single day, I eat, sleep, drink, breathe, what we do here at EBW 2020, is because when women are making money, whether you're trying to rub two pennies together or you've made millions and millions and millions of dollars, it's the women that are reinvesting 90% of what we earn back into our families, our communities, and ultimately the world. And women, as my husband will attest, reinvest our money back into other women entrepreneurs. So, woo! It's so fun. Isn't it fun? Uh, so, you want in? You want to be part of this? You want to be part of what's going on with, uh, with what's going on with women? Well, this is actually what I'm about to show you here. If you don't remember anything else about my presentation, you're going to want to take a picture of this one slide because I get paid tens of thousands of dollars to go and speak to corporate executives to teach them how do we actually tap into this white space of women, and it's this stat right here. Because women, just like most other people, we show our loyalty by where we spend our money. 91% of women don't think that any of the corporations, the investors, uh, the advertisers understand us. But here's the secret thing. If you figure out how to help a woman first, how can you leverage your resources, your money, your time, your energy to help a woman first? When women think that somebody's actually trying to help them succeed, 
79% would try that product or service. 80% will secure their loyalty to that brand. So you want to figure out how to grow your business and do it on a shoestring budget? Figure out how to help women, and they will be loyal to you forever, because here's the kicker, and it grows exponentially. 92% pass that information on. I will tell you right here that the first outside investor in empowering a billion women by 2020, I saw some of my Dell colleagues here, is actually the former president of Dell, Steve Felice. And why? Because Steve Felice was the person that, when I had the vision of empowering a billion women by 2020, back in 2011, he was the guy, next to Michael Dell, of course, who was amazing, but it was Steve Felice who said, I believe in you, I believe in the possibility of what we can do together, and I want to collaborate together. It worked, we had amazing success, and he was the first person to get an invitation to invest in the company. So why does that matter for him? Because what is Empowering a Billion Women doing by 2020? We are automating the process of connecting entrepreneurs, but primary focus on women entrepreneurs, to a billion dollars of capital resources by 2020, debt, equity, and revenue opportunities in global corporations just like Dell. Right now, like I said, we do it in an on, a manual fashion, and we're taking it into an automated fashion. So why Austin? Because we're sitting in the center of where empowering a billion women is. We're sitting into the center of where women as innovators are, investors who are going to support our success, and if, again, you want to see what's happening on inno with innovation on a global scale, go and get yourself involved with a women's organization and see how they're innovating. And I promise you, it's where you're going to find your next big investment. So thank you very much. Congratulations to all of you. It's great to be here. Thanks.